Seek first the kingdom of God and all the rest will be yours as well, beloved disciples of the Most High, blessed weekend, as we come to the seventh Sunday in ordinary time. Beloved family, we are called to love. That is the commandment of Jesus in the Sermon on the Mount. The Gospel reading says to love. Twice he says love. Love your enemies. Do good to those who harm you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. And lend with expecting nothing back. Because if you love just those who love you back, what good is that? Even the pagans do that. But be merciful like your Father is merciful, who makes the sun shine on both the good and the wicked. The sun is always shining, and God is always loving. And you're the image and likeness of God. And you're called to love just like God. Image and likeness to love even your enemies. So who are your enemies that we are to love? First, we're called to love others. Others. Enemies can be those other people out there. Not just in the Middle East, but people even close to us. Like the first reading, King David is called to love King Saul, who is his father-in-law. He's married into the family. His best friend is Jonathan. And Michal is his wife. And, and King Saul is envious of this David wants to kill him with 3,000 soldiers and in this great hunt and as they're camping and sleeping here comes King David walking right in the midst of them with Abby Saul Abby Saul his companion says just give me the spear and I'll, I'll just I'll just do him and I'll kill him right now and David says no do him no harm King Saul even though he wants to kill me do him no harm he's the Lord's anointed how could you expect to be not unpunished for this and so uh <laughs> And so he steals the, the lance, steals the water jar, and then he calls out to, to King Saul, here it is, I'm off in the distance, come and get some, some servant to give you back your spear, because I could have killed you, but I didn't want to harm the Lord's anointed. Beloved family, the Lord's anointed is the Pope, and the, our bishop, and us priests, and, and all, in fact, all baptized are, are anointed. Do them no harm. So often we speak from what we hear from hearsay. There's so much hearsay here on this media. Algorithms can customize to whatever you want to hear. And so there's so much, instead of gospel, there's so much gossip. And there's so many people getting hurt. And they end up throwing stones at each other with their words. He who is without sin cast the first stone. And we're casting stones with our words. And we're judging one another. But based on what? Often it's based on misunderstanding. When we judge before we understand, it's called prejudice. Jesus today says, judge and you shall not be judged. Oh, let me start again. Judge not and you shall not be judged. Uh, condemn not and you shall not be condemned. Uh, forgive and you shall be forgiven. For with the measure you measure with shall be measured back to you. So if you're harsh on other people, God will be harsh on you. But if you're merciful, God will be merciful to you. The fear of God, knowing however we judge others, we shall be judged. And so the be careful about loving, therefore love your enemies, because you need God's mercy. Be merciful. And the second enemy we need to love is ourselves, <laughs> to forgive ourselves. God is merciful. As far as the east is to the west, he sets us free from our sins. They ask and you shall receive his mercy. So be kind to yourself, be merciful to yourself, be merciful to your neighbor and to your enemies, and you shall receive God's mercy and shall endure forever.